All right, so I'm going to do a real quick thing on just tracking something in DaVinci. So this clip here with the RC car chase is a really great one to show an example of how to, how to track the car if you want to emphasize that in your shot. So I'm going to jump to the color tab here. I've already done a really basic grade of this in the last tutorial. So we'll keep that as is. I'm going to add a new node, option S. I'm going to label this one window. I'm going to go to the window tab here. And there's a bunch of different options for windows, but I'm going to pick the circle. It's a whole lot faster on the computer um, to use the little circle rather than the Bezier tool. So make it really small. I want it to be just on the car. And now with this mask selected, I'm going to go here to the tracking tab and I'm going to say track forward and backwards and see how it does. Uh, cool. So I got all the way back. It got to the grass, it looks like here. I lost it which is expected and, and that's fine because it goes out. So I'm going to go here to where it lost it a few clicks after. I'm going to switch to frame and now I can adjust the keyframe and location of this for this exact frame. Um, so I'm just going to grab it and pull it way down here, kind of where it was. So I'll move out of the shot naturally. And then you can see it, it kind of stays. That's a good guess. <laughs> All right, go back here to fit. Um, and then make sure you go back to clip. If you don't do that and you mess with the settings of the mask or the, the window, it will only affect that one single frame and you want it to affect the whole mask. So let's back up here to where we can see the car. I'm gonna make this a little bit bigger. And if I hit Shift H, this shows me the mask. So anything that's gray is not being affected by the node and what is see-through or what you can see the node is actually affecting. So now anything I put on this node is gonna affect that little area. So I can say, I want this to be blue and now it's blue. but I don't want it to be blue, so I'll undo that. What I want it to do is just a little pop of brightness. So let's turn maybe the mids up a bit, the lights a bit, and that doesn't really work. Let's do it the other way. Instead of turning the car up, let's turn the whole scene down. So I'm gonna hit this button to invert it. Let's do it so you can see the mask. So I just simply inverted it. So now I'm affecting everything except the car. And I'm gonna turn the mids down and just add contrast. I think we can make this even bigger. Let's go bigger here and even softer. Turn that contrast down. Okay, so now we're focused in on the car and it's mostly natural. I'll do it this way. It's actually pretty nice. Let's add a little blur too. So I went here to the sharpen and blur tab. I'll go to the blur, push it up a bit. If I max it out, you can see what it's doing. I'm just gonna do just a touch here. stuff is blurred so I want to be careful. I guess I could keyframe it to not do that but probably not worth it. All right so there we go. Track the car. So we're off. Nothing. I do a, a windowed windowed node with tracking.